Hi there, I'm Michael Stennett with the Antique Piano Shop. Today I'm here to talk about the Old Fashioned Reed Organ. For a lot of people, the Old Fashioned Reed Organ can conjure up wonderful memories of Grandma's house or Great Grandma's house, especially at Christmas time. Family and friends gathered around the organ singing Christmas carols. It was a way people used to spend their Saturday afternoons, and it's a form of entertainment that's all but lost in America today. This instrument was built by the Moeller Organ Company in Hagerstown, Maryland in about 1890. Organs like this were once very popular in parlors across the United States. An organ like this one would have cost about $200, where an upright piano would have cost $600, $700, even $1,000. A lot of families couldn't afford the luxury of an actual piano, so a pump organ like this was an affordable alternative even back then. This organ has a tall back and is known as a Victorian parlor organ. Parlor organs were meant to be placed against the wall of the parlor, and the backs are not finished because the backs were never meant to be seen. There are smaller organs that are about this high that are called chapel organs. Chapel organs were used in schools, churches, and institutions, and they have a low profile so that the organist could see over the back of the organ to communicate with the pastor or with the music director. Unlike Victorian parlor organs, chapel organs were usually finished and carved on the backside so that they would be attractive to the viewing audience. Today, these Victorian reed organs are becoming rare, and it's unusual to find one that's still in playing condition. They almost always require total restoration. These organs operate by pumping large bellows with your feet. It makes air pass over a reed and sets the reed in motion, and that's what creates your sound waves. What most people don't realize is that everything above the keyboard on a reed organ is purely cosmetic. The entire mechanisms, including the soundboard and the reed board, are located under the keys. So usually organs like this will have a piece of fabric under the keyboard. Most people think it's very attractive to look at, but they don't realize it's actually functional. This is where your sound comes out. You'll notice the knobs here, which are called stops. Each one of these knobs controls a set of reeds on the organ, and when pulled out, it allows that set of reeds to have air flow over the top, creating your sound. Each set of reeds has a different sound. The more reeds you have pulled out, the richer your sound, and generally the louder your volume. The actual volume control on this organ is operated by a knee swell, which you'll see right here. While pumping the organ, the organist is required to move their knees sideways to operate the knee swells to control the volume. So you can imagine how much an organist must have going on in their mind if they're reading the music, playing the keys, pumping the pedals, and moving their knees sideways to control the volume. Playing an organ like this is a lot of hard work, and there are a lot of church organists that look forward to their afternoon nap right after service. And this little instrument here is the first cousin to the Victorian reed organ. While reed organs were popular in the 1880s and 1890s, even as late as 1910, these little instruments, called melodeons, were more popular during the 1840s and 1850s era. Melodeons were most popular before the Civil War, and they're extremely rare today because of their age. A melodeon has a single set of reeds, unlike an organ, which has multiple sets of reeds. Melodeons operate on the same principle as the reed organ, just on a much smaller scale. You have one pumping pedal on the right, as you can see here, and the volume control is operated by the left pedal, as you can see here. The melodeon usually has only a single set of reeds, and it has a very sweet, soft sound, not nearly as powerful as the Victorian parlor organ. Although melodeons like this were usually found in parlors in pre-Civil War America, they were also used in church camps, by traveling families, and even used on the actual battlefield during the Civil War. At the Antique Piano Shop, we pride ourselves in being able to restore these irreplaceable heirlooms. Like our antique piano restoration, we put a lot of love and dedication into restoring these vintage organs and melodeons. If you have an heirloom instrument like this that you would like to have restored, let us know. We'll be glad to help.